Hello, this is Tony Messer here at PickaWeb and I've just got a quick video for you just to help you to familiarize yourself with the PickaWeb control panel. Now I've logged in here and the control panel is the main area where you will be able to um, administer your web hosting account. And the first thing I should point out to you is that here in the top right hand corner, guides and tutorials, if you have any problems whatsoever, click on there and you'll see that you'll be taken to a page which contains um, a whole load of different um, tutorial videos. So it shows you, for example, uh, how to use the control panel, all of the features there, how to set up um, your email addresses, um, and a whole range of different uh, applications that we provide for you. So, um, it, as I say, if you have any if you have any um, any issues, just click on that guides and tutorials. You'll be taken straight there. So the control panel, you can access your control panel from any con uh, internet connected device and all you would need to, to do is to go to www. and then enter your particular domain name. So in your case, let's say um, that we've, you've got a domain called business1.com, so you'd go www.business1.com forward slash C panel, which is just short for control panel and then it will ask you for your username and password which you've got in your welcome email and you can just log in there. If you do have any problems at all though our 24 hour help um, help team are available just go to our website click on the live chat button in the on the website and uh, and they can uh, resend you your details or help you if you have any problems logging in. Now in the control panel there are quite a few features and in, in our experience most customers will only use uh, a very small fraction of them so don't feel that it's a very complicated um, area it's as complicated as, as, as you want it to be because there are quite a few advanced features on there the main ones that I would draw your attention to are for example here under the mail section email accounts and this is where you can set up your email addresses so here you would just type in for example sales at and it, here will appear your particular domain name when you log in and then you just assign it a password which you just need to verify and click on create account and then your uh, emails will appear here in a section um, beneath this this part here and you can change passwords you can set the quota for each particular mailbox all that mailbox quota means is the amount of space that you're allocating for each uh, email account that you set up and by default it will go to 250 but you can set it to whichever you want it to uh, in the mail section again you can set up things like email forwarders for example if you've got a Gmail account or a Hotmail account you can just set it to forward on there as well you've also got autoresponders so if you're away from your from the office and you want to set an autoresponder that will automatically let people uh, know where you are and how to contact you you can set that up as well um, going down there's um, a section on FTP FTP this is where you um, this is the tool which enables you to to um, publish files from your PC up to your up to your web hosting space for example you know your, your actual uh, website itself um, you do have a separate FTP account that's in your welcome email as well though so you can use that the um, going down here under the domain section we've got add-on domains and parked domains they're very useful and redirects with an add-on domain if you have for example um, two domain names and you wanted to have two completely separate websites instead of purchasing another web hosting um, service you can just set up an add-on domain there so you can create multiple uh, websites and with parked domains you can use this if you have for example um, um, one main website and you want if, and you've bought some other domain names for example you may have the .com as your main website and then you've also purchased .co.uk .net.org or whatever it is and you want to redirect them through to the main website using a parked domain will enable you to do that and they're very very easy to actually set up further down we've got um, here RV site builder which is one of the website building tools that we use um, and then soft 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 which um, is hard to pronounce but click on here and this will take you to a section where you where we've got a whole load of really really great um, uh, pre pre-installed software for you to use so you can you can you know set up blogs um, e-commerce and sort of shopping cart tools and that type of thing so as I say there's a there's a there are a lot of uh, features in the control panel this is just a very high level if you do have any problems though don't hesitate to contact our 24-hour support team